everyone, in this video I wanted to demonstrate how to draw a joint PPF, where a PPF is a production possibility frontier. Uh, some people call them production possibility curves. Okay, good. So I'm using an example that I've used in other videos, and I've got some important information here that you'll need to have on hand as well. The first thing is that I have a table here which shows the production possibilities for our producers. And in this case, we've got Jack and Mary who can make radios or TVs or uh, sometimes combinations of both. Now, the figures in the cells, they represent the maximum amount of either radios or TVs that Jack and Mary can make. So that's the amount of those goods that they can make if they completely specialize in the production of those goods. The second thing I have, which you'll need to have on hand from whatever question or example that you're thinking about, is the opportunity cost for each of your producers concerning the goods that they are making. So I have Jack and Mary's opportunity costs of radios and TVs. Good, so those, uh, that's the first things to do is to make sure that you have that information. If you need more information about how to calculate opportunity costs, uh, then please I'll put some links either in the description below or on the screen to other videos where I explain that. Good, so let's truck forward. The first thing we're going to do is just to draw the two axes. So we have a vertical axis and a horizontal axis. We can label our vertical and horizontal axes with the names of the goods that are going to be produced in this economy. So on the vertical axis, I choose to put radios and on the horizontal TVs. Now, what we're drawing when we're drawing this joint PPF is the production possibilities for the Jack and Mary economy. So they're working together now. So the intercepts, which are going to function to tell us the maximum amount of either good that the Jack and Mary economy can make, we're going to find that out by adding up the maximum amount of each good that both Jack and Mary can make. So for instance, for radios, which is our vertical axis good, Jack can make four and Mary can make three. So together, if they were both just specializing in radios, they could make seven. So this intercept corresponds to a point of perfect specialization in the economy of radios and no TVs are being made at this point. Likewise, we do exactly the same thing for TVs. We add up if Jack and Mary were both specializing completely in TVs, we add them up together, six plus nine is 15, and that's going to be our horizontal axis intercept. The next thing we're going to do in order to start constructing the shape of the joint PPF is just to consider ourselves at one point of complete specialization within the Mary and Jack economy. So basically, let's just imagine that we're just making radios. So we're right here, we're making seven radios. And we have to ask ourselves if we were going to move from a point of complete specialization in radios to making just one TV, who would we get to do it? Well, this is why it was important, I said before, to write down our opportunity costs. So you can see the opportunity costs of Jack and Mary for the production of TVs. And Jack, if he makes one TV, he has to give up two thirds of a radio. Mary only has to give up one third of a radio. So Mary has the lower opportunity cost of making TVs. So the point is, if we're going from complete specialization in radios to just making one TV, we're definitely going to get Mary to do it because it's the case she has the lower opportunity cost. We can ask ourselves the next question for the second TV, who would we get to make it? Well, again, it would be Mary because she has the lower opportunity cost. And we keep on asking ourselves that, that question. The third, the fourth, the fifth, the sixth, the seventh, the eighth, the ninth, and the 10th TV, we ask who is going to make it. Now, the key here is that Mary can only herself make nine TVs. So Mary will make the first nine TVs because she has the lower opportunity cost, but she cannot make the 10th TV. She does not have that, that productive capacity to make more than nine TVs. Now we have to look at Mary's opportunity cost of making nine TVs. If Mary makes nine TVs, she can't make any radios. So she's giving up three radios. So as an economy, we're going from complete specialization from making seven radios to making nine TVs and we're giving up three radios because Mary cannot make them. So it's seven minus three is four. So we're at this point here and this functions as a point in which we can join up with our original intercept term. And this is going to be the first half of the PPF. 
We then just continue thinking like we were doing. If we wanted to make 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 TVs, who's going to make them? Well, it has to be Jack because Mary's already made as many TVs as she possibly can. And again, the difference between 9 and 15, that's 6 TVs, that's as many as Jack can possibly make. And how many radios will Jack have to give up if he makes 6 TVs? Well, 4. So we go from the point of making 9 TVs and 4 radios just to that intercept where Jack has made the extra 6 from 9 to 15 and has given up 4. Okay, that's good. Now, one thing to note is that when we're drawing the line here that uh, constitutes the shape of the second half of the PPF, you can see that the slope is different. And that's important here because it's the case that the slope of the PPF represents the opportunity cost of the good that's on the horizontal axis. So because it's the case we've got Mary producing TVs first and then Jack after that, and because it's the case that the opportunity costs of TVs differ, then the slope of the PPF is going to kink out. Now in particular, our slope here for Mary's portion of the PPF is going to be negative a third, where the absolute value of that is the opportunity cost of a rate of a TV. And for Jack, his opportunity cost of a TV is going to be two thirds of a radio. So the slope is negative two over three. Okay, I hope that helped. Um, please like or comment below. Uh, check out my other videos. I hope you guys are really enjoying studying economics.